so it's been a while since I've done this. And I'm going to do another one since the series is so popular and I have 31 humble subscribers. And I thank you all out there for subscribing to my channel. I'm sorry for not putting out as much content. Um, I'm a Leo, North Nodes in Leo right now. And it's going to be for the next year. So I've just been doing my own uh, preparation. My ascendant is Cap Capricorn and Saturn is moving into Capricorn as well. So that's going to start some amazing stuff um, as well as it's going to be there until my Saturn return. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to what crazy adventures Saturn has in store for me. Um, it doesn't really help that Pluto's in my 11th um, as well. Not currently transiting, but my natal Pluto is in the 11th house. For those who understand astrology that deeply. But this is going to be a thoughts of an 8th house Leo video. So let me just get that going and get that going. And sorry about the the dog barking in the back in my neighbor's backyard. It's probably the most inappropriate time for me to actually do this video. But I feel like it. Annoying barking in this video title and um, the subject is going to be a fun one. So I'm going to talk about all <laughs> of the astrological signs in order and my experiences with them. So all 12 signs. And I'm going to start with Aries. Now I'm going to be letting out a lot of secrets to each of the signs too. So, you know, people will be put on blast completely. <laughs> I won't name names. It's not that video. <laughs> I won't name names, but I'll definitely talk about um, some star signs, sun signs, um, to be completely honest. So I'm start with Aries. Now, as a Leo, I think Aries are, are really, really cool. Um, a lot of the Aries I, I've, I've met have trouble completing projects. And they, they're, they're starters. They like to start things and, and, and get things going. And they're, they're the ones who, who can envision something new and, and passionate and, and everything. Like, I always try to... Even though they say that Leos are leaders, if I know there's an Aries on my team, <laughs> I, I, I'm a little bit manipulative and I will be like, Aries, you lead. <laughs> but I know everyone wants me to lead, but then I'm like, no, 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 Aries, you, you lead. You're the visionary. It's all you. Let's actually go. Let's get behind you, Aries. I do that and, you know, sometimes Aries get really, really nervous and, you know, they, they teeter. And that's a teeter, some some weird word, um, <laughs> some weird word that's in my vocabulary right now. Um, but no, if you look at the um, the actual animal, the ram, and what it does, I watched an amazing video on YouTube to where these rams are literally walking a wall. Um, it was like not like a wall; it was a um, a dam that had salt on it, and they were licking salt off the dam. And I was I was just sitting there like, wow, these goats are high up <laughs> and they're getting their mission accomplished, the mission done. So, again, with Aries, they can actually um, do the impossible uh, sometimes. Uh, Aries in bed. <laughs> uh, Aries are, are very, very fun in bed. Um, very passionate, um, very erotic. Uh, they love their their ears nibbled and things like that. They love their faces touched in sensual ways in the bedroom. Um, very very active too. And these signs are Aries are the ones who who really like to to <laughs> to fuck outside. Like going in the woods and fucking outside all the goddamn time. 
and it's just so they have so much energy they have so much um stamina too but when they're done they're done <laughs> there's no there's no i mean they could probably go multiple rounds but a lot of time it's just <laughs> but they are hot they usually have uh, nice bodies, nice personalities. Sometimes it can be um, abrasive, like other fire signs, um, <coughs> Leo. But we'll we'll get to them. <laughs> Sagittarius, we'll get to them too. Um, but next, let's go to Taurus. Now, I've dealt with many Tauruses, and they're about their money. They're about their schedule. They very sexy too. Uh, an extreme uh, amount of stamina. Uh, I'm playing with a ribbon right here. And uh, they don't really take... They're the bullshitter, so they don't take bullshit, but they're the bullshitter. If you, if you, know, if you know what I mean. Like... Like, they always have, they always have shit to dish out. But like they have to have a partner that will be able to to handle that shit, you know. Uh, but over time, ter uh, Tauruses get get a lot of possessions. They're they're known to to be the the wealth side of astrology. Um, they have a wealth of of something. It's either deep within their character. It's either physical finances. It could be it could be a multitude of of things when it when it comes to Tauruses. Now people consider this time this this sign very boring and very slow, but that's stability. And people understand that fast and exciting is not stable. If you want stability, you definitely wanna you wanna go with the Taurus. You wanna go with the Taurus a Taurus that is uh, patient. There are some very impatient Tauruses out there. Um, but you you see the product of of their work all the time, like <laughs> like they're they're the ones who are stably on. They could be a they could be a homeless, like they they like the thing is how horses run. They run they run on solid capitalism. Like they'll ride they'll ride things till the wheels fall off of it. And then buy a new one, and, <laughs> and and that's just how I go. Like, if I like it, it's useful, and you know, Taurus is my Taurus is in my fifth house, so people with Venus is in Taurus and everything. Like, I'm I find Taurus is absolutely attractive. So if you're a Taurus, hit me up. You're not boring to me. <laughs> I'm boring. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm a, I'm a fucking, I'm a ham. But anyway, this is about Taurus. This night out. They do have Aldebaran, um, that fixed star, uh, sitting in their sign, and that's like a. I study. It's our like Archangel Michael energy. So, um, Tauruses are backed by some strong energies. Next is Gemini. Ooh, Gemini's. Gemini's. <laughs> what can I what can I what can I say about Gemini's? What can't I say? <laughs> I can say anything about Gemini's. Because everything they'll everything is true. They have to like split personalities, twins, all kinds of things. Um they're very uh they do have a charisma about them. They do have a, a uniqueness about them. They have a, they're an air sign. Um, very freaky. Um, very, very freaky. Oh, I forgot. Oh, let me go back to Taurus. Uh, Taurus is like their, um, their neck bit on. That's a Taurus. It's like. 
Um, so now we're going to Gemini. Gemini. Gemini's are the hand sign. Like doing things with their hands. Like if you propose to them, you're sitting at a table, it's good to, you know, have your hands on the table and gently caress their hand. They like stuff like that. Because uh, it, show, it shows communication um, in the physical. And if you use your hands a lot in your communication, that's very attractive to a, to a Gemini. Um, but a lot of people get the two-facedness and duality of, of um, Geminis, which is very, very true. I have my Mars and my... South node on in Gemini. Um, so I physically move through the world as kind of like a kind of like a Gemini, or when I get angry or when I get passionate. <laughs> so I have always have words to to spout out, and Gemini's use their words as as literal blades and, and weapons. So. Like Donald Trump, Gemini. Azalea Bakes, Gemini. Remy Ma, Gemini. Like these are, I think Kendrick Lamar is a Gemini too. All these Geminis. <laughs> you guys are all over the place. And it's true, you guys are all over the place. <laughs> you can have one twin one place, another twin another place. I shouldn't be telling you guys these, these fucking secrets because you guys will start creating phantom astral projected things and it gets weird the shit that Sagittarius does but I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll get to I'll get to Sagittarius soon because I, I have a lot to say about that that's a fire sign but Leo's first because Leo's got it before <laughs> um, more about Gemini's they're gossipy see the, see my Mars and Gemini Gossip, I'm gossiping <laughs> It's in chatty, which is a uh, super fun. Uh, the ruling planet is Mercury, which is really close to the sun, so that's why Gemini's and Leo's get get along. Um, but the other side of Mercury is Virgo. We're gonna get to Virgo too. <laughs> the other side of Mercury, of Mercury is uh, is Virgo. So Virgos and Leos do get close, but then it's it's a little bit different. <laughs> It's a little bit different. But see, I'm gossiping as shit. I'm talking about other sides while talking about Gemini. Because here's the thing. When Geminis really know people, they 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 puppeteer, but not in a way that other air signs do. I mean, all signs have their have their have their subtle, you know, abilities to to manipulate. To use, to use, you know, to move the air around them, so to speak, is the universe kind of an air element, while we're the physical in the universe. So, technically, we all become, you know, the physical part of it. Everything else is um, spiritual. But that's an oversimplification of things. Uh, and I know it. So... And I know Gemini's right now since I'm talking about y'all. Y'all, y'all understand it. Y'all, y'all can y'all can break it down. Y'all have a bunch of minds to break shit down, so <laughs> a bunch. <laughs> My Mars can definitely keep up. <laughs> okay. On to cancers. Hopefully I'm getting the order right. Um, so cancers, very emotional, but not in the ways that, not in ways that people might think about like crying or that, I mean, it could be that, but it's, it's more so, more so moody because let's, let's look at it. The ruling planet is the moon and the moon moves a couple of different degrees every single day. While the sun could be in a fixed place for a while for a couple of days. And it, other other planets could be moving at their own different rates. But when it comes to cancer, the ruling planet is uh, is a moon. And people have to say that it's, 
it's super unstable, but no, it's not super unstable. It's just, it just, it has stability within its cycles and the cycles are so different that things look unstable. But when a cancer learns to, to, to surf, that's when they're truly happy with life, you know, to, to really surf, surf the waves instead of, you know, letting them get flipped over, tossed to the side, hit the rocks. <laughs> and, and I know cancers will get that metaphor, hit the rocks. <laughs> have to have, getting so sad and getting so embarrassed, having to bury yourself in sand, just, <laughs> just the stuff that just the stuff can't catch us have to deal with that people just don't 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 know about and don't understand. Little little crabs. <laughs> um, they're very they're they're homebodies. They they love their um, their nipples pinched. Uh, they're very uh, abdominal uh, oriented too. So like nipples, abdominal. They love they love that area. Uh, hence why they they kind of <laughs> catch Tauruses off guard because they they can cook a Taurus and a Cancer is a good match um, anyway uh, <laughs> but uh, they uh, they can uh, definitely kick in there They're, they have like multiple uh, different talents a lot of things they keep uh, secret to themselves because, mm, again, cancers, the crab itself, the, the animal, doesn't have vocal cords to really vocalize emotions, but it has a physical outer shell to, to, to perform and to go with the flow and to, you know, move with things. But what's happening internally can't always... Um, be vocalized um, or understood because that's the nature of of um, cardinal water. You're not supposed to really understand it like that. You're not supposed to really understand it like that. Um, they can be wishy-washy again. The moodiness, depending on where where the moon is, is is how they feel. Like if a cancer gets into astrology, they'll understand their emotions a lot more, and it, it'll definitely stable them out um, quite a lot. So I do recommend astrology to all the cancers that stumble upon my video. Excuse me. Now, fucking Leos, they think they know it all. They think they're fucking sexy and gorgeous. They think they own everything. They walk around with a fucking chip on their goddamn shoulder. No one wants a fucking Leo. <laughs> they have crazy fucking hair. <laughs> everything they got to do this has to be big and large. <laughs> uh Being a goddamn Leo. Like, Leo stamina hours. It's, it's a performance. It's a, it's a, it's a production. It's a... <laughs> you think, you think that this just comes naturally? It does. But you think that this just comes naturally? <laughs> okay, Leo's... Definitely are divas. I know I'm a fucking diva to the most... A divo to the most extreme uh, extent. And... It's just... <laughs> I don't even know, what to, know where to begin or even know where. Because... <sighs> where can I... A Leo secret. Hmm. Leos are good watchers. We watch all the other signs, and we can see all of your all the other signs, little little hacky thingies, and you know exploits. 
because you can see a lot from the center or you can see a lot from the top of the mountain or you can see a lot from the throne of the kingdom you know all metaphors for the for the same damn thing and this is the place this is the fixed place that leo always um always keeps i am an eighth house leo so <laughs> My ass is arrogant. I think I know everything about the occult. Um, and so on. And how to like block magics and stuff. Uh, especially incorporating the power of love to, into it. Because um, that's a powerful emotion and feeling. But the other ones have their utilities too. Um, but I'm an Athos Leo, so I can't even really get deep into that. That's like Scorpio, <laughs> which I'm going to get to. But one more thing about Leos. Um, if you are trying to seek out a Leo, uh, it's good to, to keep golden things around because we're very attracted to, to like, gold and shiny things um, don't over spoil a Leo because we'll get we get a lot of attention anyway um, but when it comes to like our partners and we choose to have them in place like you're on the top of the mountain with me or you're on the throne next to me so we value your decisions as much as Hard's a lot of the time. And, you know, that's just how, how Leo's, you know, partner. And we're like, okay, come on. <laughs> come on, Simba. Come on. Let me show you the kingdom. <laughs> you know. Uh, and then the, the sign, the, the lion, is a very interesting animal. Uh, a very, very interesting animal. Has a big name. People, people call it majestic. And I think that lions are extremely... I also would agree with them to, to say that lions are beautiful. Because a lot of the times, like, it, it's sad to really see them hunted and in the zoo. It's just not the, not the place for, for a lion. Um, but I've seen lions in the zoo and it's just sad. So, again, that's this is one of the things with fire signs. Like you, they have, there has to be a freedom. There has to be a range. There has to be a a um, a stable place because their the ruling planet is the sun. So, Leo will always find it, it's his place at the center, but some Leos are just as happy. On the sideline and out of the action, spectating the king of spectators. <laughs> See little things like that. Uh, now it goes to Virgo. Now I got stories about Virgos. Their ruling planet is also Mercury, so it's very very close to to Leo, but it's the 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 sensual side of of things, the physical side. Now people are saying, oh, Virgo's the virgin. Don't fall for those lies. A Virgo being a virgin, they're only a virgin once in their life. <laughs> Not all of their life, but they pretend to be. No, Virgos are great. They're very. Uh, they have a method to things. They have, an, they have the strongest organizational st skills of the entire chart. Some younger male Virgos can be kind of messy, but boys will be boys, you know. Um, but also very clean as well. Like 
very well groomed. You know, they have 700 different moisturizers or something. Um, yeah. They can also be big divas too, just like Leo's. Even bigger because there's, there's a method to it. Uh, there's a finesse to it that uh, Virgos have. Uh, they know how far they can take it. To where it's still beautiful, while Leo will just let it let the reins go, and where it lands, it lands. That's the difference with how a Leo's a diva and a Virgo's a diva. Um, but this is more of Virgo now. So, uh, they have they're very very into into. Uh, taste like you have to have the most exquisite taste for virgo to pick you you have to have the most you have the pace to be top of the line in 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 good quality if you're a quality person a virgo definitely wants to to be around because they see they see that quality and they're learning from it they're learning the methods of your quality because they want to put whatever whatever qualities in their life into practice and that's the practicality behind uh, uh, Virgos. So, with that in mind, when it comes to sex in the bedroom, they're wild. They're attentive. And they want to make sure things are done right. Like Beyonce. Beyonce is a Virgo. Um, and she is... Powerful energy. Powerful, powerful energy. I think she pulls on a, a lot of sun energy, too. Which is beautiful. I've, I've seen Leos do it. Leos do it all the time. But she can... She's pulling a lot of uh, sun energy. Um, I don't know too much, too many specifics about her chart. But she, she she's pulling a lot of sun energy. That one. Um... More about Virgos. Uh, Virgos are again they have taste. So when they do things, they make sure like things are high quality, things are fucking right and perfect. They seem less perfect. And if a Virgo's talking shit to you, they want you to be perfect. That's kind of how they love. They they love they have like a, a tough love kind of thing. Like like for me, I'm probably way too. It's probably way too much stubble. For most Virgos, like if I were a Virgo, this would be way too much stubble. Like, I'd have to have shaved before this, put on a layer of, you know, makeup, maybe a little bit of concealer or something. <laughs> but before that, I'd have to put on at least three or four different moisturizers. <laughs> My Jupiter's in Virgo, so I kind of... <laughs> I just started unpacking things like that. That's that's and, and it's in my um my ninth house too. So whenever I I go off of things like that, my mind not not crazy, but it it'll, it'll, it things things start to spin, gears start to churn. <laughs> whenever I think about um uh, Virgos and their practicality and how they're um, so fine when it comes to detail. Now, let's go to Libra. Oh, wait. I need to get into to Virgos and what they like um, in bed. Um, it skips my mind right now. <clears throat> There's a block in the force. Uh, was it? I think abdomen too. There's like so many signs that fucking have that. Because Taurus is as well. Because if they eat something and they love it, they'll fall in love. So I guess Virgo's, Virgo's that too. So if you like, crest them, give them hugs and stuff. Even though they don't feel like, they don't seem like the, the hugging type. They love hugs. Some, some Virgo's have like that still 
resting bitch face. <laughs> but watch, give him a hug, they become bubbly and shit. <laughs> um, no, don't go around hugging Virgos though. They'll they'll punch you <laughs> and defend themselves and protect their virginities. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go Libra now. Libras are drama. They're the shit starters. Uh, they're cardinal air. Um, they're very picky, very clean. Uh, they like to take the finer points of of each sign and uh, kind of uh, exaggerate them a lot. Into their most beautiful form in their eyes. And like using their scales to balance out what it is. Sometimes Libras are very uh, unbalanced in what they want to do and what they want to to say and uh, um, think. But when they figure it out, it's it's a beautiful it's a beautiful balance. Um, Libras are very very sexy. Uh, nine out of ten times. Very sexy. Uh, and they're diplomats. They know how to how to get a conversation going in the way they they want it to, and uh, to get things started in the in a way they want to. They're they're very. Very, very strong at, at communicating. Um, which is so beautiful. Yeah, that bark that dog is just barking. Um, yeah. Libras like their asses grabbed. I slap uh their lower back shrubbed too. That's a very uh a very central area for them. Um, yeah. What sign comes after Libra? Scorpio. Who the depths? Um. Well, not really. Sometimes, sometimes shallow. <laughs> Sometimes just very what it is. But this is this is deep, deep water. This is like water that is so still. It's like water under an immense amount of pressure uh in depth. Kind of the bottom of the the Mariana Trench or something like that. Um, it can also be ice, ice on the bottom of the Antarctic, you know, um, but Scorpio has drawn a lot of energy, a lot of, um, astrology mentions, uh, the occult sites, uh, the sign of Scorpio, but to me, Scorpios are very, are very, very simple, uh, they eat, they drink, they shit. And that's pretty much it. Now, anything else, they don't really, they don't let, they don't let things tap into their emotions because they know that their emotions are power and their emotions equal manifestation. So they don't let things get the reign of their emotion. The reins of their emotions are fully under their control. Unless you get those things, those those times where you get double Scorpio relationships, which are intense as fuck. <laughs> Two Scorpios do not belong together at all. In fact, Scorpios, to me as a Leo, are probably the most difficult sign to to love. But I do I do love Scorpios though. Scorpios. The ruling part is their genital area, so <laughs> gotta let the Scorpio. 
you know, gotta gotta love that. Gotta love the. <laughs> I would get too X-rated on that one, but yeah, Scorpios have some some depth, some some subliminal power. They can they can if they want, especially if they're they're attractive too. Like they'll summon the power. They'll summon the power of a Lyra and then some to to seduce. Uh, they'll even tap into some Capricorn energy too, which we're gonna get to. Uh, because that that's another practical earth sign. Uh, but when it comes to Scorpio though, uh, Scorpios, I wouldn't go around. <laughs> Crap it is Scorpio's genitals at all. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Don't at all. Don't. Don't do it. Don't. Don't. Let them give you consensual permission. And they'll let you know. They'll let you know. Plus, it's hard not to know if a Scorpio wants you. Like, you don't. It's not something you ask for. It's not something you flirt to it's not something you like if a Scorpio sleeps with you it's practically fucking destiny like they're they get this notion they get this notion of being uh, sluts but they've been there and done that like they've done that one life already and now they're on to the the next thing. It's not like even even like twin flame and soulmate stuff is like fucking child's play to them now. Like people don't people don't know people don't know where Scorpio's at. But it's uh it's definitely beautiful to to think about and to imagine. But it's not something that can ever be understood like that. Like that's the mystery of a of a of a water sign in the element of water. Water is sticky. It can have it's volatile. Uh, volatile in a weird way, because uh, in in that volatility, there's stability. Which is crazy. Think about like a, a think about water in a bottle and how it evaporates within the bottle, but then it's still liquid on the bottom. But it's also vapor within that bottle, and that contains space. So, water can be a, a tricky element because it can become solid like earth, uh, flammable. Cause a liquid does make fire a lot of the time. Gas, you know. So, yeah. Oh, uh, I was supposed to let out one deep secret that Scorpios uh, have because, you know, <laughs> I'm playing with all the signs right now. Um, mm-hmm. Scorpios are secretive because a lot of the times they're still learning about the depth that they have themselves until they really understand it, they don't really present it out outwardly. So if you if you see that uh that Scorpio's like you know backing away, it's not because of you. It's more so they learn something about themselves that they're that that they found depthful, and now they're just backing the fuck away. Like maybe that was their mission. Maybe they they come they come to you. They find whatever they whatever information they need, and rest on it. They go back into their own you know, Neptunian dimension or their normal daily lives. Are. 
and so on. Now, fucking Sagittarius is. I got my heart broke by Sagittarius. And I'm so bitter about it. <laughs> no, really, I got my heart broken by Sagittarius. And so, when it comes to that fire sign, I like Aries more. <laughs> and I like Aries that much like that. They try to compete with me too much. I'd be like, okay, you want to compete with me? You take the leader reins. Rerouted video on that one. <laughs> okay. But what Sagittarius do, they're like, okay, I'm bigger, better, better. But I'm like, okay, but are you sustainable? <laughs> like, Yeah, it's nice to have all the knowledge and all of the uh, the philosophy behind it, but if you're not putting it to practical use, then what good is your damn luck? Like you're gonna get spouts of luck, and you're gonna get spouts of you know unlucky times instead of taking true rulership of your son. And manifesting things in a stable way. Uh, God, I'm picky so much on side changes. And I was like, it's like the mood totally changed. But no, they're very nice. They're happy-go-lucky. Um, they're very, very good to have as friends when you can uh, keep them. Some of them are snakes. Snakeateriuses. Snakeateriuses. Some of you guys like to say, oh, I'm from the Fakies now. No, you're a snakeaterius. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to have a long term beef with Sagittarius for, for a long time but Sagittarius is in my 12th house so my unconscious demeanor and thoughts and emotions my moon's also in Sagittarius too so my emotions are Sagittarian so <laughs> I kind of know. <laughs> My emotions and feelings are Sagittarian. So, if I'm a bitter bitch, I probably think I'm, I'm upset at Sagittarius. That's a bitter bitch. So, it's reflecting on me and it's manifesting. Like a goddamn curse. And so you just, you know, stop giving a fucking let it go. And that's the Sagittarius you try to teach all the time. Stop giving a fuck. Let it go. Let God. One of my favorite astrologers, uh, shout out to him, uh, Magic Mike, or the Peace Dealer. Uh, he said something that was profound to me. He said that <laughs> God is a Sagittarius drinking and partying in hell. And I think to myself, when I look at Sagittarius' life, it's so disorganized and everything. And I'm like, okay, that's, how do you get things, how do you get around? Like, for me, I'm a Leo, so things have to be streamlined and nice. I need my red carpet, baby. <laughs> but Sagittarius is, they're like, oh, I'm on a mystical fucking journey to wherever the fuck <laughs> I don't know where the fuck you're going. You don't even know where the fuck you're going. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh, Sagittarius is no good motherfuckers. Now they're good. <laughs> Happy go lucky. <laughs> Snakeaterius. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dog. You shut up. Anyway, more more about it. <laughs> what else about Sagittarius is that I can expose? Mm. 
they play games. Um, I've dealt with one that was gamey. <laughs> if you will. Um, <laughs> that's so bad. That's, that's a bad metaphor. <laughs> or simile or whatever the fuck. Uh, I don't know if I think about it like that. But when it comes to Sagittarius, is oh, what they like? They like their thighs rubbed. Their inner thighs or outer thighs, that excites them a lot. Very um, uh, simple. Uh, they don't, again, uh, their ruling planet is Jupiter. Um, which, you know, astrologically, Zeus. And Zeus had crazy habits cheating. He cheated on Hera all the goddamn time. With ducks, geese, cows, young boys. <laughs> I'm, I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> look at look at this track record. <laughs> so, me saying that is, you know, you can 